Well, I've long been interested in online education, particularly with my background in web development and my passion for teaching. For me, developing a MOOC presented a unique challenge of finding ways to reach a massive audience, yet maintaining high levels of meaningful yet engaging materials. New web technologies now offer that capabilities to do just that. But thinking through how to do it and do it well was no small feat. This grant gave me the opportunity I needed to do that thinking and to attempt to implement it. Well, over the past 20 years, we have witnessed a number of industries that have been transformed, sometimes even decimated by the ease and cheap access to information goods that the internet has enabled. One of the largest industries yet to experience that transformation has been education. Early online education only touched on the possibilities. MOOCs and other online courses like lynda.com and Khan Academy show that promise of transforming how we think about education. Over the next 20 years, we will witness an explosion of this free coursework in all subjects from some of the best educators the world over. It will become increasingly engaging with technology automating simple tasks and enabling collaboration between experts and learners and using artificial intelligence that can correct common mistakes and misunderstandings of course materials. Universities will not go away, but they will change, and probably very ra radically, to accommodate these innovations. There are two developing countries that have suddenly changed the world economic scene. Both come from Asia. These two are India and China. Our primary goal was to help students understand the process that countries go through to move from developing to developed economies. India and China are the world's biggest developing economies. In order to better understand that process, we needed to compare their growth with countries with similar cultures and backgrounds. Malaysia and Singapore offer a glimpse of countries that have made that transition, yet along very different paths. They provide us with a solid foundation for comparing the paths of China and India, and what we can do and what we can avoid to see their successful completion of their transformation. Well, there's three things that I bring to this project. First is my passion for education and education research, and the best practices that help us to frame the instructional design principles in a meaningful and engaging manner. Second, my expertise in web development, both in industry and in academia where I teach, helped us to work with our technology partners at SAS, who is building and managing the edX platform. Third, my analytical and research skills helped us to define our, eva our evaluation and assessment criteria to effectively measure our success with the project, as well as the su success of our students.